Hello, welcome back to another free video on the Stress Ebook LLC channel on YouTube. And I am super glad that you're able to join me in this video. What I wanted to do is I'm going to start making videos that kind of give you an, an overview of all the different blog posts, at least the important ones on the website. And I'm going to start with this guy, which uh, is called Shear Flow in Thin Walled Structures. So uh, basically, my intention is to give you a top level idea of what the blog post is about. And then once you go through this video, hopefully you will click the links below this video to learn more and go in depth. OK, so let's get started with this particular blog post and uh, it's free obviously and uh, there are other links I will discuss at the end of this video uh, so let's get going um, at the top level this blog post uh, will go into some of the examples of what real world thin wall structures are in the real world aero structures so it will list some of those um, for you and then after that we will discuss how and why shear flow is developed in these particular thin wall structural systems and then following that we will um, discuss some uh, components of what a built up shear web system is is all about um, some of those components um, are you know different caps webs and uh, upper and lower caps things like that that make up uh, a built up shear web system so that we'll talk a little bit about that in the blog post and then after that we go into the bending stress theory and that discusses um, how the shear flow is developed and the reasons for the shear flow that actually come from a combination of bending stress and shear stress so all of that we will talk about that in the blog post and then finally we will also calculate uh, the shear flow uh, based on the derivation that we just did from the bending stress okay and the shear stress so that's the top level overview of the of the blog post entire blog post you can download a free copy uh, a PDF copy of that blog post if you'd like but you would have to be a subscriber to do that so go ahead and if you want to to go to the the blog post itself here's the link and the link for this uh, particular blog post is right below uh, I will also include the link below this video and also in this video towards the right hand side you'll have a little information icon you can click that it'll pop up a little thingy where you can click and go to the go to the website and read more and as always you know i always ask my uh, subscribers to become the website newsletter subscriber and that has a lot of benefits it'll give you uh, free links to download all the PDFs. You will get a free ebook um, and also an FAA regulations document. You'll get that. Um, you will also be able to get some free lesson videos for the bronze and silver level courses. So there's a whole bunch of free stuff that you can get. Um, and you'll also get instant updates as soon as uh, one uh, is published, uh, like a new blog post. So so many benefits I would say give it a shot uh, I don't think you will regret it uh, the next one is uh, if you want to learn more about other articles that's the website for the blog there's a whole bunch of articles there free technical blog posts on aerospace engineering so you can go there and then also there's a couple of courses right now available for you to purchase and that would be uh, at that link right there and then uh, for existing members uh, who are paid subscribers, they can go here to log in and access their course content. And then we also provide engineering services. So if you are someone looking to hire us to help you with aerospace stress engineering, then feel free to go to that particular website, I mean the web page there, and there's a contact form there, or you can also go to the contact page on the website, send us a quick email, and then we can take it from there. Okay, so thank you so much. That was it, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you later.